Okay, so I just got done filming the weekly. I'm gonna have, oh, it's gonna look real funny with the lights, but. Hi. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I got myself for Valentine's Day. Now, I have the funniest story. It's not that funny. Some of you are gonna be like, that wasn't funny at all. Why are you even talking? And that's fine. But, um, <laughs> but I essentially decided that I wanted chocolate for Valentine's Day, but I wanted something that was like healthy chocolate. So I thought vegan chocolate, um, I'm cleaning my glasses in case you're wondering what the heck is going on. Um, the clumps of makeup, disgusting, <laughs> y'all. Oh. Hey guys, so this is going to be a little after show thing. I thought I would share with you what I bought myself for Valentine's Day. So I wanted chocolate, but I wanted like a healthier chocolate. And little known fact about me, a few years ago, chocolate was my hobby. And when I say my hobby, I mean like studying chocolate and how it's made from like bean to, uh, you know, being a little chocolate truffle. Like what's that process? I have books all over the place. <laughs> and of course, being in New York City, I had access to a lot of that information. So I do love chocolate. So this is kind of where, it's gonna be kind of a review, I guess, but that's kind of where I'm coming from with this. But yeah, so I went and I remembered addictive wellness. Okay, so this is vegan chocolate, which is hard to do. It's hard to do because there are no milk solids in the chocolate, right? So I don't know how they temper it, but if you ever notice most vegan chocolate, um, the texture is a little off, right? From like, not off, it's just a palate adjustment kind of thing. It's just not like, you know, like, you know, with milk solids in it, it's not as smooth. So it has a little bit of a grit to it. And if you ever paid attention, a lot of vegan chocolate will add like dried flowers in there or sea salt or something that might have a bit of a crunch, but also has a texture, I think to maybe mask <laughs> some of the grittiness or at least kind of even it out a little bit. This Addictive Wellness chocolate doesn't need to do any of that. Does it have a bit of a grit to it? Um, I wouldn't call it a grit, I would call it a bite but it's still smooth, it still splinters, it still has a really nice snap to it, like it's perfectly tempered. Again, I don't know how vegan chocolate is made, but let me show you what I got. So, I, I treated myself to the women's, the women's package or whatever. They have one for men, they sell these things individually, but um, I have a funny slash embarrassing story about this one. <laughs> All right, so I put in a pretty big order at Addictive Wellness, and then I was telling somebody else about it. I go back onto the website, like, I don't even know how much time had passed. It wasn't even, but like a few hours or something like that, and everything was on sale. And so I was like, ah, oh, normally that wouldn't be that big a deal, <laughs> except that just happened with Macy's. Macy's, this bracelet right here, uh, this came in a pack of three. I wasn't wearing all of them because I didn't want them clanking on one another. But, um, yeah, bought these stupid bracelets and then like literally the next day they went half off. Don't you, am I the only one that feels like you're like losing it life if you don't hit the sale? So anyway, I reached out to Addictive Wellness and I was like, hey there. Um, so I just put in this order. Now I see it's on sale. Can I get the sale price? Because this was, you know, I ordered a lot. <laughs> so it was a good little chunk of change coming back. I heard back almost immediately. I think it was like less than an hour or something like that. I heard back very, very quickly. And it was Sage, who I think is one of the founders of Addictive Wellness. You know, I'm still kind of fairly new with this brand, but um, yeah. And it was like, yeah, of course, no problem. I was like, thank you. That's so cool. So this package came with uh, six bars and then three powders. Okay, so these, uh, this one's Tremella Mushroom. And this one says, get your glow. But basically these are vegan, oh God, they've got everything on here. It's like vegan, wait, gluten-free, trans fat-free, nut-free, sugar-free, soy-free, dairy-free, GMO-free, vegan and paleo. Yeah, I was like, did I just make that up? No, I didn't. <laughs> vegan and paleo friendly. So these chocolates, I would highly recommend that you test out how you're gonna react. I say this because um, I bought a couple of extra bars and then they also sell these like cocoa 
uh, I don't know what the cacao drinks elixirs I think they're called elixirs and uh I'm not going to open this because I was already eating out of this one you don't need to see that but <laughs> but um the tranquility bar which is what I got outside of the package I ate a whole square of it so here is here's my hand here's my face here's the, the size of it okay there are four squares in there and that is 48 grams or 1.7 ounces and this one's the beauty one but the tranquility one I ate one whole square and I'm not kidding y'all like I felt good but I was just like like it affected me it really affected me now I have tried the focus one also not quite to the same extent I don't react as as <laughs> crazy to that one so just be careful if you decide to get this oh by the way this is not sponsored I'm not affiliated with them at all they don't know who I am they don't know that I'm doing this so if you don't like me then don't take it out on the company I guess um <laughs> but I really love this chocolate again it's not like your typical vegan chocolate that has a rough texture that you have to sort of acclimate to it has it's very pleasant it's a unique experience from you know sort of mainstream chocolate like your milk fat and milk solid kind of chocolate uh it's smooth and yet like i said it's got a little bit of a bite to it so it's not grainy not gritty as i said the taste is amazing and they're infused with all these like really good for you herbs of course check with a doctor it says everywhere that it's not for pregnant people or people as if men get pregnant it's not for pregnant women or those who are breastfeeding okay <laughs> anyway <laughs> oh and this is the other thing i wanted to mention that i loved about this five percent of net profits donated to environmental organizations working to save the only known planet with chocolate <laughs> yeah i love that so i got a bunch of these i this one's beauty so this has all the the you know what is this tremella blue butterfly and i don't know how to say these is it chaga or shaga someone's gonna know let me know down below um ethically sourced heirloom araba national cacao uh, sounds good to me i don't know that sounds terrific but i love how i feel when i have a little bit of this and you know because it's chocolate <laughs> i mean it does kind of help with i don't know i have a little of that and because it's rich and satisfying i don't eat junkier chocolate you know what I'm saying so the other thing that the packet came with were these powders now it doesn't help me get this is the whole box of it that I did and I already did the elixir that was good um I wish I would have because there's all kinds of recipes and everything oh by the way um if you guys want me to bake using some of the recipes and some of these powders and I will try it for the first time right on camera and you guys know I'm very honest so if it's gross, I'm going to like tell you that it's gross. If I'm in love with it, I'm going to tell you I'm in love with it, right? So I do have a few more um, packets of these coming so that I could try some of the recipes, okay? I did order the men's package that's supposed to be coming. The reason why I did that was because I wanted more chocolate and also I wanted the other powders. So this I have ashwagandha, tremella mushroom, and blue butterfly flour this is the coolest thing i made a little drink out of it last night it tastes okay so all i did was add it to water and it matches like can you see my chair it matches my my little chair here with my little pillow it's the exact same color or like my candle back there it's like a dark blue <laughs> and i guess if you add lemon juice to it it'll turn purple um but i just tried to have it in water last night and is it pleasant <laughs> Uh, you ever get those like green powders and you just stick it in water because you think you're gonna just take it on and then you're regretting all your choices in life this wasn't quite that bad but it tasted a little bit like wheatgrass it had a, kind of like a wheatgrassy kind of thing going on so I thought I probably should have done something else with it I could have added some stevia to it but it has this incredible blue color and that's the the blue butterfly I think it's pea flower or something like that and you don't need much of it and then of course these are supposed to be really good for you as well what i did this morning with these i took a serving of each one so the one that gets yeah these two are half a teaspoon that's a serving this one's an eighth of a teaspoon this is the ashwagandha and i put all of these in my coffee with some coconut oil 
and a little bit of skim milk. It was hilarious. The skim milk did nothing to change the color. <laughs> it just got soaked into it. And I had this um, very rich, it was delicious. It was so good. I think the coconut oil in there gives it body and, um, you know, it it's kind of has like a sweetness to it. So it sweetened up the coffee and I was able to get these herbs in and it not tastes like I was drinking dirt, you know? So anyway, like I was saying on the website, they have in the blog and they have a YouTube channel. So it's addictive wellness. Uh, go, you can go over there and they have all kinds of information about what these are, what they do, you know, all that kind of stuff. You can see Sage, Sage is talking on there. <laughs> I only know Sage because I believe if I remember correctly, I think I didn't here. Let me double check. Let me double check. I think it was Sage. Oops. Oops. I bought some for my sister and it just came today. So she's super excited about that. I don't know. It says Sage. <laughs> I don't know if it was a customer service person. I don't know. But um, anyway, you get to see who I'm talking about over there and his partner. And yeah, there's okay. So I want to do the donuts. There are these donuts and I even have a little baking pan for donuts. So we could do that. There's uh, the Avatar ice cream. I want to do that. And then there's a zucchini chocolate loaf or whatever, want to do that. I really want to get into alternative baking because I love baking. I love taking ingredients and making something that can sustain you out of it. <laughs> I think that's great. <laughs> and I just, I want to experiment with that. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing me do some more of the baking, the alternative baking, comment down below. Depending on how it goes, I may not... Um, I don't know, I may not film the whole process of me doing it, or I'll just get little pieces of it and put it together. It'll be more about tasting it, tasting it right on camera. So maybe there'll be like five minute videos, I don't know. <laughs> but if I do, cause see, let me explain this. So when I try to do like the Christmas cookie baking videos, they are insane, okay? Because I have two cameras set up. Actually this past time, I think I had three or four cameras set up. And that's a lot of footage to go through. And I'm not a baking channel. I'm a spiritual channel, <laughs> right? So I'm all about things that promote your wellness because your physical wellness will help you be an open channel for spirits. So that that's how it's related. But to go through all that footage and spend days editing, we ain't doing that. So I might get a couple of little snippets from one camera, edit it, and then here's me eating the donut or whatever. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I bought myself for Valentine's day. Comment down below. What did you get yourself or someone else for Valentine's day? Please make sure that you subscribe, like share that helps out a ton. Happy Valentine's day guys. And I'm sending you so much love. Take care.